Hey Nathan, it's Monday, April 13th, and during the springtime, you and I like to go outside. We arise from our winter hibernation and enjoy an atmosphere where the air doesn't hurt your skin. It's nice. Well, you know how sometimes you're walking along, just enjoying the scenery, and then suddenly there's this horrible, god-awful smell that hits you like someone stuck some gelatinous foot sweat in your face or something? And you're like, what? on this beautiful green earth could be emitting a smell so horrid. Surely something unnatural like radioactive animal feces or the dumpster behind the replay lounge downtown. No. You realize it's a tree. And actually like a, a really pretty tree with white flowers. That, my friends, is a Bradford pear tree, a type of calorie tree or Pyrus caliorana. The Bradford pear is a popular tree in the United States. The tree is native to China and Southern Asia and came to Europe in the mid-1800s. During a disease outbreak in the U.S. in the early 1900s, the Bradford pear was found to be resistant. That blight resistance, plus its quick growing rate and its tolerance for many different types of soil, made the Bradford become one of the most popular ornamental trees in the U.S. The Flowers really are pretty and stand out as a first sign of spring. Something that a lot of people can't get over, something that really makes me question why this tree ever became popular, is um, the flowers reek. Like, really, really horribly. If the tree is big enough or there's like a large group of them or something, the smell gets offensive, like even overwhelming. People have compared it to rotting fish or semen. Heh <laughs> heh. No horny hamster. I personally have always compared it to, I don't know, like sweaty foot fungus and mucus. I don't know, it's just, I know it's bad. It's very bad. It's weird though because aren't flowers supposed to smell good? Well, kind of, but smelling good is subjective. The strong odor's purpose is to attract pollinators like bees and flies, and they probably find the scent alluring, or at least unignorable. But why does it smell so rancid to us? It could be the certain type of chemicals that the flowers put off, called amines, which are also found in body odors. Which, that like, kind of makes sense now why flies would be attracted to stinky people. Oh, science, always helping me make connections. I hope this video answered some of your questions about the Bradford pear semen tree. If you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Um, tell me, do you have these trees where you live? And Nathan, we'll see you on Wednesday.